So you might never have heard of Curl in your entire life, and I wouldn't be surprised. It isn't the most sexy thing when it comes to apps, but I can guarantee you're using it all day, every day. We're gonna cover three very simple things within Curl. There are videos on here that last way longer than this that go into much greater detail on Curl, but I just wanna show you the basics, the simplest commands that you're gonna use on the regular. So Curl means client URL request library, very catchy. What it allows you to do is send data over URLs using the command line. You can upload and you can download. Those are called posts and gets. And you will definitely see opportunities to use curl, especially to transfer files between machines. If you hack into one, you might want to move some files across to it. You can use curl to do that. So let's look at the basics. Here's the curl.se website, transferring data with URLs since 1998. Okay, I've got a folder set up called curl. And what we're going to do is we're going to curl my website and it won't work because there's a redirect. So there's a 301 redirect on my website. And if we want curl to follow that redirect, we need to use the option dash L. There we go. If you've seen my video on wget, you might recognize this LinkedIn, my name, Webflow. We saw all this before. So this is the homepage of my website. And if we look, our folder is still empty. It hasn't saved it. It just showed it to us on the screen, but we can output that. So let's put an arrow and we'll call it gary.html. It's gonna go and download that page onto my desktop. And if we take a look, wonderful. So it's all there. Very simple, download a file onto the desktop. Now this could be anything. You could be downloading slash malware.sh onto my desktop. It could be anything here. And this is the part that's most useful for hackers. You can transfer any files this way. So think about that when you compromise a victim machine and you wanna move files onto it, you could use curl to do so. You probably won't need dash L in that example. Let's clean this up and let's look at one more cool thing. So let's interact with an API using curl. This might sound a little bit advanced if you're new to the whole topic of curl and APIs, but just go with it. Just let's just play. So curl HTTP. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull the weather down. This is a really cool little project where you can put in your location, hit enter, and it gives you the weather just in the command line. How cool is that? So check that out, put in your location, maybe go and check out the website and see what else you can do with it. So there you have it. You can get the weather using curl and you can also transfer files from the internet onto your local machine. Let's play. <laughs>